Hello and welcome to Conquering Alba, where we take you to the historical places that make Scotland what it is today. Today we are just north of Glasgow, outside the village of Lennox Town visiting Lennox Castle. The land in which the castle sits belonged to the ancient Kincaid clan. The clan Kincaid are said to be descended from several families including the ancient Earls of Lennox, the Gilbraith of Butherknoch, the Grahams and also the common lords of Badenoch. The name Kincaid appears to have been a territorial origin. In 1238 an early reference to the name is found when Alexander II of Scotland granted lands of Kincaid. The Kincaid lands consisted of 30,000 acres extending from the River Kelvin to the River Glazert. The castle was designed by architect David Hamilton for John Lennox Kincaid. The castle is built in the ancient Lennox of Woodhead estate in the parish of Campsey, about a mile and a half west of Lennox town between 1837 and 1841. The family moved to the castle from the Kincaid House, which is located in the old Kincaid lands which is now Milton of Campsey in the central lowlands. The Kincaid House was sold in 1921 and it was eventually converted into a hotel and remains in such use today. And as for Lennox Castle, it was sold in 1927 and for some time after that it was used as a mental hospital as well as a maternity hospital until its closure in 2002. But in 2007, the grounds were purchased by Glasgow Celtic Football Club and they now use it as their training facility, also known as the Lennox Town Training Centre.
On the castle is the coat of arms of the Kincaid Lennox joining, with the old Kincaid family motto, This I'll Defend, which is in reference to the Kincaid clan recapturing Edinburgh Castle in 1296 against the English forces of Edward I of England. The Laird of Kincaid then held the office of Constable of Edinburgh Castle until about 1314. This honourable feat was during the reign of Robert the Bruce, and Edinburgh Castle was added to the Kincaid Shield as an honourable augmentation to his armorial bearings. And the coat of arms we see today is the one of the joining of Kincaid and Lennox by John Lennox Kincaid. John Kincaid married Cecilia Lennox of Woodhead and their son John Lennox Kincaid became the legal representative of both the Kincaid and Lennox families upon the death of John Kincaid on 1832. John Lennox Kincaid had his coat of arms, the impaled arms of Lennox Kincaid, articulated in June 1833. When the mental hospital that sat around the ground shut in 2002, all the buildings were demolished with exception of the A-listed castle, but sadly the castle was badly damaged by fire in 2008 and is also the victim of vandalism. The castle ruin still remains today, but is fenced off for everybody's safety. The paths around the castle are still popular amongst dog walkers and joggers alike.
We hope you have enjoyed today's video here at Lennox Castle. It is a real shame that the castle is a victim to arson, but it is still a great adventure to go witness. If you wish to see more of Scotland's historical buildings, then please like and subscribe, and we hope to see you next time. Alva Gobra.